Well, actually, we were asked by a former NBA player. He was actually going to start it himself, but he needed a chef to run it. And in the process, he got traded. So that fell through. And at that moment, they kind of planted a seed in my head like a food truck. I would have never thought of opening a food truck. So once that seed was planted, it just kind of took my imagination. I asked my husband, what do you think about us just doing it on our own? And he was like, OK. <laughs> We opened our food truck in 2013, and actually the first night in March of 2013 was our first time ever operating our food truck at h and And when I tell you I don't know a better way of starting off your business with the line wrapped around the corner, I mean, it was crazy. We didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. Transitioning from a food truck to a brick and mortar was, it was kind of easy because we kind of had the concept down already. The difficult part was going from just being me and my husband to having a staff and overhead. It was definitely the best decision that we could have done. Our customers actually kind of pushed us into opening up a brick and mortar because they would have to chase us around the city every day. We were in Moore, they're coming to Moore. If we were in Edmond, they're coming to Edmond. But when they got there, they'll be like, I'm tired of chasing this truck. <laughs> you guys need to open a brick and mortar. And we just kept hearing it 